Hello and welcome, or should I say konnichiwa to yokoso, to Odawara Station. Today we're taking a ride on the Tokaido Shinkansen, Japan's oldest and most popular Shinkansen line from here up to Tokyo. Our journey begins at Odawara Station in southern Kanagawa Prefecture. Opened on October 21st, 1920, Odawara Station has been serving passengers for over a century. Odawara Station serves the Tokaido Main Line, Odakyu Odawara Line, the Izu Hakone Railway's Daiyuzen Line, the Hakone Tozen Railway, and of course the Tokaido Shinkansen. Its many connections between high speed and local lines helps Odawara to serve over 30,000 passengers daily, or a little over 10.9 million passengers annually. The station is laid out with three main sections, the Shinkansen tracks, the Odakyu tracks, and the mainline tracks. Entering from the north of the station, we arrive at the Shinkansen tracks immediately, with ticket machines found nearby. We'll be taking Kodama 822 bound for Tokyo, with a departure time of 9.14am from track 14. Following the signs, we ascend to the Tokaido Shinkansen, Japan's oldest and greatest Shinkansen. Although we only have around 30 minutes until departure, we'll still get to see plenty of Shinkansen trains fly by on the center tracks. We're waiting here for maybe a minute before two Tokyo-bound Shinkansens fly past. The first is an N700A Hikari train, followed a few minutes later by a Nozomi N700S. Tokaido Shinkansen is known for its high capacity and frequent service. At peak travel times, the Shinkansen operates up to 17 trains per hour, with an average delay time of just 12 seconds. 12 seconds! At a maximum of 1,319 passengers per train, the Tokaido Shinkansen can move 22,423 passengers per hour, and it moves them fast. Through Ottawa, trains reach the maximum line speed of 285 kilometers an hour or 177 miles per hour. All of this adds up to an unreal display of speed, efficiency, and engineering prowess, with trains ripping through the station every couple of minutes. The station goes quiet as our departure time arrives, which gives us a chance to look at our route up to Tokyo. Our journey begins departing northeast from Odawara, accelerating up the Tokaido Shinkansen. We reach cruising speed within a few minutes of departure, our train flying over the Sagami River and into our first of two stops at Shin Yokohama. Our crossing of the Tama River marks our entrance into Tokyo, the curves through the dense city reducing our speed down to 170 and then 100 km an hour as we stop at Shinagawa and then Tokyo Station at the terminus of the Tokaido Shinkansen. We'll cover a total of 47.7 miles on our ride today, with a travel time of just 34 minutes. The silence on the Shinkansen is broken by the arrival of our train. Two, two, bound for Tokyo is arriving at 
taking us to Tokyo today is an N700 Asian Kansen set X71. The doors slide open and we can climb aboard. We'll be riding in economy class to Tokyo, the car laid out in a 3x2. As is the case for many stopping trains, train 822 is held longer than normal to allow a non-stop train to leapfrog our service. And with the tracks clear, our train departs towards Tokyo. Economy class on the Tokaido Shinkansen is operated in a 3x2, a standard high-capacity layout for trains in Japan. Economy seats offer a generous 8 inches of legroom, with space beneath the next row for bags or legs. The mesh seat back pocket is quite large and flexible, above which is the tray table. The back of the table includes helpful information on our car, the surrounding cars 11 and 13, and QR codes to find operating information in a variety of languages. The actual table folds down easily from the seat back and includes a shallow cup holder. Coat hooks are found along the walls, as are tiny air vents. The vents are really only meant for the window passenger, but the fact that they're included at all is quite surprising. A single 100 volt outlet is found along the wall for at seat power. Economy seats on the Tokaido Shinkansen aren't super luxurious, but they're comfortable enough for the 130 minutes between Tokyo and Kyoto. Each seat includes decent bolstering, winged headrest, and plush seat bottoms. The seat back can also recline using the lever built into each armrest. The windows of all Shinkansen trains are massive, allowing for spectacular views of the world outside. Each window is aligned perfectly with each row of seats, which means there are no duds when it comes to window seats. Of course, the windows include shades built in, but why keep it shut when there's so much to see outside? Above each side of the train are large luggage racks, with passenger information displayed in both Japanese and English on the displays at each end of the car. The world outside has since turned into a blur as our Kodama blitzes across the Japanese landscape. Moving forward into car 11, we find the main amenity space for passengers. Here we find a regular and accessible bathroom, the multi-purpose room, and what was a smoking room. The two bathrooms are exactly what you'd expect from a Japanese train. Spotless, the sink found in the hallway outside. Beyond the multi-purpose room is the former smoking room. As of March 16th of this year, smoking rooms aboard trains have been discontinued, the space now used as additional luggage storage on N700A trains. As we continue north, the suburban landscape of Yokohama begins to envelop the railway. Our speedometer remains pinned at 285 kilometers an hour, the residential buildings passing us in the blink of an eye. The first of our two stops today comes at Shin Yokohama. We glide to a stop on track two, the doors opening for only a brief moment before closing once more.
Cars 8 through 10 are the green cars on the Tokaido Shinkansen. Green class is considered first class on most trains in Japan. Green cars offer greater legroom, wider seats, and a quieter environment to enjoy the ride. Operated in a 2x2, two two, each green car seat offers around a foot and a half of legroom, though the space beneath the next seat has been replaced by a footrest. The outer portion flips out to form a larger footrest that should only be used without shoes. The seat back pocket includes information on the en-route services for green car passengers, along with some light reading material. The tray table is very similar to ours in economy class, but adds the ability to slide towards the user. A secondary drinks table is also available at each seat, located within the outer armrest. Each green car seat includes a motorized recline function, a seat heater for those cold Japanese winters, over-the-shoulder reading lights, and power outlets at each row. The green car interior is also a step up from our economy car, with carpeted floors, classy lighting, and improved sound isolation for a more enjoyable journey. The Tokaido Shinkansen was not only Japan's, but the world's first high-speed rail line, which celebrated its 60th anniversary only a few days ago. Opened on October 1st of 1964, just ahead of the Tokyo Olympics, the line connected Tokyo and Shinosaka at 210 kilometers an hour, crossing the 320 miles of track in around four hours. In 1972, the Sanyo Shinkansen opened, extending the link from Osaka south to Hakata. In the years since, the lines have been upgraded to higher speeds, the Tokaido to 285 km an hour and the Sanyo to 300. Together, the two lines form a 664.4 mile high-speed rail link through the Taiheo Belt from Tokyo to Hakata, a journey which takes just 4 hours and 45 minutes. As the first high-speed rail line in the world, the Tokaido Shinkansen set in motion the development of high-speed rail lines around the world, with numerous countries beginning research into their own high-speed network. Some may be faster, but none will be the first. That title will always be held by the Tokaido Shinkansen. Our speed has slowly decreased as we reach the Tokyo Metro area, the metro lines of the Tokyo Commuter Railways paralleling the tracks as we make our final stop in Shinagawa. It's another incredibly quick stop, our Shinkansen keeping to well within its 12 seconds of average delay. Tokyo Terminal comes just six minutes later, our train pulling to a stop right on schedule. Grabbing our bags, we can head out onto the platforms of Tokyo. Descending to the concourse, we once again enter the chaos of Tokyo Station, where we'll bring today's video to a close. If you're new around here, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. It's totally free, and it really helps support the channel. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my patrons and members. Y'all are amazing and your incredible generosity is always greatly appreciated. If you too want your name in the video or just want to support the channel in more ways than one, then head on over to the links in the description below. But anyways, that's all I have for today. Thanks for riding with me and I'll see you in the next one.